What's up, everybody? It's Trey Leslie of the Dawn of Entertainment back with another unfiltered cinematics by Are You Entertain? I'm alongside Brandon Ogden Concieri. This time around, we went to go see Captain Marvel, uh, the first female superhero led in, a, in the MCU. Uh, we have a lot to say here, a lot to break down, plot, what we thought, our ranking. Um, so let's hop right into it. You wanna, you wanna give the people a little breakdown of the, it's a, it's a lot, honestly. Yeah, a lot. So, wait, where yeah. do you, where do you well, even first, start? Let's give our usual update. Usually, there's some shenanigans that happens yes. at the movie. Theater. We need to come up with like a, uh, like a, like a name for yeah. this part of today. It. We have one kind of tool in front of us. Yeah. Not even worth mentioning, <laughs> but we did have about 85 degree weather in um, the movie theater. Soupy ass is an understatement, <laughs> it yo. Was, it was it was warm, man. Um, anyway, but so the movie starts. They did a really nice little tribute to Stan Lee at yes, the very beginning. That was that was really cool. It was really cool. Yeah. Um. So that was a good touch to start with. Yeah, instead of their Marvel ten, right? This where they time show around. like the movie or like the yeah. characters and stuff. All of it included it was Stanley. Stanley. That was so that was dope. It was a good touch. Um. So basically, it starts. Boy, I'm trying to even think back to remember how yeah. it even starts. So it shows kind of the crash. Yeah. And it's, then it start. It starts with the crash, and then we get like these really quick flashbacks, and you're yeah. like. What the hell's happening? What's happening? Then they kind of introduce the scrolls, which yep. is the their shapeshifters. Shift, yep. um, we're uh, we're led to believe they are the villains. There's this Star Force team with Captain Marvel and uh, Jude, Jude Law character. and yeah, the dude yeah. from Thor. Um, so they're they're we get we get a little bit of connection. Um, with the Thor dude, with with some other things right. that we'll mention, but uh, we're led to believe these scrolls are the villains, and then we find out that they basically, um, when when Carol, aka Captain Marvel, like crashes, they take her kind of hostage and then control her brain. Yeah, is that a good way to put yeah, it? Yeah, they I don't control know. her because they know. So this is not the scrolls. This is the. Do we know what they're called? What. Not the scrolls, the other ones. The Krees. The Krees? Yeah. So the Krees take her, and they basically put this chip on her to harness all of her powers so she doesn't understand, like, how powerful she is, yeah, essentially. Yeah. 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 Um, and so, so they, they kind of control, control her. her. Yeah. So anyway, so she gets taken by, like, the scrolls, and they're basically pulling memories out of her brain, and yeah. she's starting to, like, remember what happened to yeah, her because they're trying to find something right they're trying to find her memories yeah um of uh, some location um mm -hmm. that they were flying going to when she crashed originally yeah um so that's how that happened she basically escapes that ends up on planet earth um crashes through a blockbuster yep meets samuel L. jackson uh, the the '90s nostalgia, ton of '90s. Love nostalgia. it. Throughout Honestly, I was movie. vibing with it. It yeah. was dope. Uh, from like the she music, had kind of like a crop shirt. Yep. The the, like the band shirts. Jacket. She was yeah. wearing a nine inch nail shirt. Nirvana music was playing. She has a Guns and Roses shirt. Yeah. Like TLC. TLC was playing. playing. Yeah. Some, yeah. So dope '90s vibes. Very '90s vibe. Yeah. Um, so what? I, where were you at in the plot? So she just met Samuel. L. So Samuel Jackson. Can we get to the? I guess the first kind of big twist. It yeah. kind of came in the first half of the movie, which I thought was interesting. But do you know where I'm going with this? Is Take it away. I was just going to say Jude Law, we find out, is the villain. And we yeah. find out basically the Star Force are the bad guys. Right. And the Scrolls are just simply looking for a home planet. Yeah. Basically, and the Krees took the Scrolls like home. They're basically trying to wipe them out. Mm -hmm. um, so the scrolls are just on the run trying to survive. So they're basically basically manipulating Captain Marvel. Right. Yeah. So, so she figures that out. She figures that out. And, and she then, meets up with her like best friend from Earth before the crash. Yep. Um, the, they they're both in the Air Force. Other. Yeah, they haven't seen each other in six years because they thought uh, she was dead. Yep. Um, so then basically from there they build a little spaceship to go to those coordinates yeah uh because they basically show her how the crees um were bad uh and she finally has kind of that coming to jesus moment and realizes that the crees are the bad people the scrolls uh -huh. are the good people so they go to the coordinates she remembers the coordinates 
it's this energy field. And then um, the goal for the movie, we find out, is they're trying to get the Tesseract. Yes. Which that is a that's big... That's the energy. That, yeah, that's the energy core that Marvell, who is... Um, this is kind of going to be sloppy and kind of yeah. hard to explain, but basically Captain Marvel, they, they go to this AI center and you see... You, what, who you admire the most. Okay, who you admire the most. And she sees a lady named, who we find out is Marvell. Who um, is like her leader in, yeah. the mil, or in the Air Force, basically. Yeah, and so um, I guess where I'm trying to even remember where I was going with the Tesseract thing. but So um, that's what they're all fighting for, because the Tesseract... Oh yeah, I was going to say yes. Marvell kind of, the coordinates were for that. For that the Tesseract. Created. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And so they're, everybody, the the scrolls are trying to get the Tesseract. They're not even trying to get the Tesseract, actually. They're, the coordinates is where the leader of the scrolls' family was. So yeah. That's why, oh, shit. Yeah, you're That's right. why he wanted to go there. Mm -hmm. And then um, the Krees were going there for the Tesseract slash More to than destroy, anything, the Star Force. To, that, yeah, that's like the, the elite group of the Krees, I guess, fighting you know, right. kind of against Captain Marvel right now. Right. So she denounces the the Krees and the uh, Star Force, and she kind of gets her own colors, and that's where we get the iconic Captain Marvel suit. Um, and then from there, it's just a battle for the Tesseract and to see, like, if she can officially part ways with the Star Force, right? right? Yeah. So, um... Let's let's get into the breakdown of how we thought the movie was made and what we thought about it. So, uh, all in all, it's it, it was I don't know. So I I don't know if it's the fact that um, we it's a new story and a new character and we don't know a lot. Honestly, I felt like they threw us to the wolves. Like at the beginning, it was a little confusing. Like which yeah. is that's fine. Um, I. I one small beef, like it wasn't that that bad, but if I'm nitpicking, I think it was a little choppy. I don't want to say sloppy because they did in the end kind of wrap it up and they tied it all together nicely. Um, but it was a little choppy back and forth and a little little confusing in the beginning. But I think they did um, do a good job of tying it back around yeah. in the end. And they had a tough task. I mean, they had to get a ton of stuff in to make us have the backstory for True. Captain Marvel for Endgame. Yeah. And to give us enough to have a second Captain Marvel mm -hmm. and give us enough for Captain Marvel to basically carry forward the being potentially the, the leader face. of the Avengers. Yeah. yeah. So, so, and also, so it's a tough task. I mean, that first yeah, and foremost. Yeah. So it's a tough task because they got to do the origin story um, and they got to round it out. So, basically, this was like a prequel to, I guess, really Iron Man because it was in the 90s. But then they also have the task of looping it back around to Endgame. where it's going to lead into Endgame. Right. So, honestly, it's a daunting task, but I would say it was done fairly well. I mean, I don't want to say it was done perfect. It wasn't my favorite of the Marvel movies. I think it did a good enough job to where Captain Marvel could be the face of it moving forward um, if they want to do that. Um, I think she was a good character, compelling, and I'm here for more. Yeah. I liked it. Um, yeah. What do you What do you have? So definitely got um, Guardians vibes where with the music, yep. the like era, the then, cosmic right. vibes, even yeah. like kind of like the alien life form, yeah, and even for sure. um, kind of the comic co comedic vibes in it. Yep. Because uh, there is a lot of like sarcasm. Oh, yeah. and Smartassery. Yep. I would say. Um, so definitely more Guardians vibe, which. I like that. It served its point. I'm I thought. cool with that. Um, I think she's a badass character. I think I think she can lead Marvel forward. Mm -hmm. um, the only thing that, like, I don't have any beefs honestly with the movie. Yeah, it was choppy at the beginning. But That's really a nitpick. Kind of, right, right. Yeah. And it, but it was it was going to be because of how much they had to fit in. Sure. To make it make sense. Yeah. I guess for me, the only thing I struggle with um, is from Marvel's kind of planning. I think they've done everything like perfectly along every movie to get to where we are yeah but it kind of feels like captain marvel should have probably been in, ma made earlier yeah in, i think in the mcu yeah i think the term for that is retcon so they're like retconning so they make this and obviously it's supposed to 
go in the beginning of the MCU. So I, I see what you're saying. Right. For but sure. they could have given us they could have done probably two Captain Marvel movies before yeah. Endgame. And yeah. instead of it's like, oh shit, let's hurry up, get this one out before Endgame. So that yeah. way, you know. But we do have to talk about the post credit scene. Right. We will. Well, I will. Okay. We will say that. I want to do say one thing while I have it in my mind. A small, small beef. And it's not even a beef. It's just uh, from a writer's perspective, like what maybe I would have done differently. I thought it was interesting how they basically ended the Kree versus Scroll War, where I think... Well, sort of. S- sort of, sort of. Um, but I think you could definitely piece that out, especially with where the potential with where we're going to end with Endgame, Thanos being an Eternal. You maybe bring the Eternals and maybe loop that in with the Kree and the Scroll War. I just think there's more there. And it kind of seemed like they put a bow on it. Maybe not fully. I don't think they did. Because okay. I think she said, she sent Jude Law's character back up and said, tell the Supreme, what is it, Supreme Informer? Leader, leader, yeah, whatever. That I'm coming and I'm going to put an end to this. So I think they put it in a spot where... So she's she coming and still, it's going to happen. Okay. Right, where they could do... I just kind of took do like that a as it's kind of going to be over. I, okay. Plus she was still trying to figure out a way to hide the scrolls. Sure, sure. Uh, so I think there's still some storylines for a pretty good sequel that they could tie in pretty well. There you go. You opinion. got me. I like that. Um, I, okay, let's talk about kind of the different nuggets that tie into what we've already knew going into the movie so like the tesseract was one Mm -hmm. Uh, we knew about the tesseract that ties in directly into endgame um as the tesseract was we didn't know the tesseract was going to be in the movie right no that's what i mean you're saying like different the the, easter eggs the easter eggs okay um what were some of the other ones um trying to think here well ronan was in it and he's a part of guardians of galaxy and um, he was working with the Star Force team yes. that we, we figure out, which yep. is kind of when you see that um, the dude from Thor, who I don't know the, his name in the movies, but when he does the little hologram with him, you're kind of like, OK, that's sketchy. And you kind of think like, OK, they're going to be bad. And yep. I'm pretty sure that he did that before we really knew they were the bad guys. Uh, right. Yeah. So, yeah, there's that. Um, uh, the pager that at the yep. end of Infinity War. Um, that Nick, Nick Fury, Fury uses. gets dusted, yeah, and then we see him call calling Captain out Marvel. Captain Marvel. Uh, that's in there. She rigs that up, so she says, "Only call an emergency." How about uh, the dude from um, uh, Shield? Shield, Nick Fury's yes. partner. Yes, um, we see him kind of digitally de-age as we do yep. Nick Fury, which I thought it was done well. Yeah, I thought no, that was it done actually fine. looked good. Yeah, uh, we um, find out how Nick Fury loses his eye. True, uh, weird as fuck. It was a weird way. Part. It was a weird part. <laughs> um, the other big one was it was initially called like the defense initiative or something. The, protective, the protector, protector initiative, initiative. And, and then, then we find that uh, Captain Marvel's like call signal. And the Air Force was Avenger. Yeah. Um, so he deletes it and changes it to the Avenger. Um, I like that. That was Avenger, pretty cool. What, what am I looking for? Initiative. Initiative. Yeah. It, yeah. I thought that was a really nice touch. Yeah. Um, also, Marvel, Nick Fury messes it up and calls it Marvel. Yeah. Uh, that was just kind of a funny little. Funny, funny tidbit. Yeah. For sure. Um, for sure. What else? I, that might be. The that might be it in terms of the movie. Now we have to talk about the end. Yes. The, the post credit scene. So um, the second one. Whatever. I mean, it's... It's a cat. There could be... There Maybe. could be a, a deeper message, and we'll have to read about that. I didn't take Don't it. Worry. I took it as more of a humor thing. Yeah. But the, fir- the first one was crazy. They got they got some cameos yeah. with this one, It man. basically could have been the very first scene to Endgame. I would like that, honestly. I would love for it to just literally butt up right to uh, Endgame. I, I think it could, it could do it. So we get... Captain America, we get Black Widow, um, Bruce Banner, Bruce we Bruce Banner, and then um, War Machine. They're all in the same room. We see kind of on the board how many people are missing, and we see that the number is increasing. And we see they're looking at the pager, and they don't really know what it no. what's it about. Um, it has the Captain Marvel logo, and, and it disconnects. It disconnects, and they're like, "We need to get a hold of. Uh, we need to figure out what this is." Because obviously Fury is dusted, so they can't get a hold of him. Um, and then literally it cuts, and we see Captain Marvel there, and she says, where's Fury? Yeah. 
and then it cuts away. I love it. it that shit was fire. That was a great way to end yes. in that movie. That was incredible. And that was also like the last like 15 minutes, I would say, is where we got most of the big end game like Easter eggs. Or yeah. Like tie ins. Yeah. Uh, so it was just a really cool, like kind of nostalgic way um, to end it. And I thought it was a really good touch. Perfect. And far. we still got people walking out of the movie theater. Yes. Guys, if you go see the damn movies, you have to know there is a freaking end credit scene. It's Marvel. At least one. It's Marvel. And then, so like 15 people leave. It's Marvel. And then the first one ends. And then like another 15 people leave. It's like these people just, it blows my mind. They're Stupidity. clearly casual Stupidity. fans. Stupidity. Casual fans. We out here for the diehards. Yeah. All, All right. right. Anything else? We no, got to gotta rank. rank. We got to rank it. Um, so I had a little bit lower score in my mind, but the post credit scene bumped at a few points. I agree. Um, I'm going to go 8.2. Ooh. Hi. Yeah. Hi. I thought it was a good movie. No, it is really good. It and was good. It's really good. I think I started 7.9. It bumped up to 8.2. Okay. Uh, so I got a bump too. Um it, listen, this was a really difficult task. I thought it was actually really well done. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, you know, you could nitpick here and there a few things. Um, I'm a 7.9. 7. I started 9. at I started at about 7.2. Damn, uh, so I But the last end credit really, I thought it, even the last probably 15 minutes of it really um, bumped it up for me. Hell yeah. Um, really good connections, I thought, throughout the whole thing. Yep. Um, even enjoyed the actual little side story with her and her best friend and the best friend's daughter. Yeah. Um, so I thought it all, overall really good. My last question to you okay. is how does this compare to Wonder Woman? Ooh, that's tough. I'm trying to recall. Did we do an Unfiltered no, Cinematic for that one? No. Okay. Um, I really enjoyed. Um, Wonder Woman. I think it's on the same plane. I don't know if I'm going to say whether I like it better or not because I think um, I, I don't know. I was going to say that Wonder Woman, the villain, felt very CGI, but then obviously Captain yeah. Marvel is CGI. So but I don't know. I would say it's on the same as, plane. It didn't feel as CGI. Like Marvel just does a better job of making it. Of hiding, feel, of masking that a right. little bit. Yeah. I don't I know. Think. I don't know. I, I, I don't know if I want to answer that right now. Okay. Off the cuff, I'm saying Wonder Woman, which is kind of a hot take because it's DC. Oh, my God. I like a DC movie. But uh, I think over time, I'll probably Captain Marvel will be I would better. probably say Captain Marvel for me, um, but very, very close. Both both could carry their franchise. Wonder Woman's carrying DC. Big time. So you already know that she can. I think Captain Marvel can carry uh, Marvel, you know, into the future post end game post the True. original Avengers. So True. even though she's the, technically the OG Avenger, uh, that is true. <laughs> she basically named the Avengers. She, I like it. All right. So we went to go see Captain Marvel. Thank you for watching our unfiltered cinematics. Please like subscribe, share the video with your friends. Um, this is are you entertained? I'm Trey Lessie of the Dawn of Entertainment alongside brand ugly concierge. Uh, 8.2, 7.9. Go check the movie out and let us know what you think. And as always, we'll be back for more. Stay safe. Peace.